Hi everyone, I'm Nanad Yandi here and today I will share you how to create 3D mockup using Pectora and Canva. As you see here, some amazing realistic 3D mockup that I just made in Pectora. It will help us for our purpose and also if you want to present your design to your client, make it look more professional. So Pagdora is an online packaging design tool that integrates editing, 3D preview, rendering, and exporting into one single web product. Designers no longer need to purchase and install multiple software, and all the work can be done in a browser. Now open your browser and let's type pagdora.com. So this is the homepage. As you can see here, there are more than 4,900 packaging mockup here. And Pagodora also a mockup generator, 3D modeling software, and templates and die-line generator. If you don't have an account here, you can just click this login and click sign up. You can sign up with your, with your Google account. Okay. And if you want to subscribe to Pagdora Pro, you can use my link I put on the description and also use my code. Now let's go to my account. I will show you what in mockup generator. So there are so many type of packaging design here, boxes, bottles, jug, food packaging, porches, and etc. You can find it here or you can just type the name of the mockup here. For example, pouches. So you will find all pouches mockup here. And then let's back and see what in the 3D modeling software. So many 3D mockup here and you can put your design on this mockup. And then now let's back to the home page and then i will show you what in the die lines generator so this is a powerful die lines generator and now i will show you how to make those smoke off that you show on the intro for example a customer ordered me a design for their product and this is the detail now let's find the mockup go to the search bar i will type purchase here enter as right on the order i will choose this custom dimension flexible packaging stand up with zipper okay i will click it so this is uh, some uh, three color of lines here our design should be placed in this blue lines and the main element of the design should be in this red area okay and this is the size the height and this is the width you have to make it two this is the front and this is for the back and this is for the bottom but i think we can keep for the bottom and you see this is the size and you can change to another forge mockup but as the request i will use this 80 gram okay now let's uh, choose the file formats i will choose pdf die line and then click download the die line. Okay, now I will go to my Canva or you can just type canva.com on your browser. Now I will upload this die line to my Canva. Now let's open it. Okay, now I will make the design here. But of course, I will add a guideline if your work page not showing this ruler just go to close it and then go to file and to setting and then click this show rules and guide okay now i will increase the view i will add a guidelines to this blue and then I will mark the area of the main for the main element. I will drag it to this red line. Okay. 
All right, now let's, uh, I will add an element of square, a row this square, and then I will click this corner rounding, reduce the number to zero. Okay, and then I will place it in the blue line. Okay, here. And then I will make it a gradient. Just click this color button and then scroll down. Just the gradient. And then click it one more. Click once again and click here. And then I will choose this linear gradient. And then I will type the name of the brand. I'll change the font to more sugar. Okay, and then I will reduce the size. I will select them both. Place in the center and group it. I will duplicate this square. Duplicate. First, I will reduce the size. Place in the center. I will change the color to white and then I will click it one more. I will make it gradient. The other color is white, so but I will change the transparency to zero and then I will make it linear. All right, and then go to position layers. I will place it behind the name and then i will group it i will group them okay now i will add the case you image i'll choose this one okay add the image of c salt i will use this one reduce the size and then I will add the name of the product. I will reduce the size. Reduce the line spacing. Increase the size. I will place it here. I will change the font color to white. And I will add an effect of outline. I will change the outline color to this yellow. And then I will type the name of the flavor. See salt here and reduce the size. I will change the color to this yellow. I will change the color to white and then I will duplicate. I will type here air roasted. Okay, now let's click the green gradient and duplicate and then I will slide it here. And then first I will ungroup this uh, brand and I will duplicate this, place it here. And then go to element just for a simple way. No three in facts and then I will add this one. And then type again. Now let's go to position. Okay, layers. And I will select this. The right side uh, elements. Okay, and then right click here. And download section with transparent background. Save download setting. And SPNG and then download. Now select all the left elements. Okay, and then right click and download selection, transparent background, SPNG, and download. And then now let's go back to Pandora. Okay, now let's click this design online button and then click upload your images and then 
go to download button here and drag it here and the other one okay wait until it fully uploaded now i will delete it first using my keyboard button and then let's uh, place it on its place and then reduce the size to fit the die line so this is the front and then let's add the bay part reduce is here and you can also add some elements from backdora go to elements you can add text you can add text shapes and symbol of packaging and the other i will add some symbol of packaging like this one this one and this one okay you can see pegdora give us the sign of the distance and i will change this color to click here color and i will choose white and you can see in the inspiration this is the pattern and inspiration for the mockup okay now after it all and then click save you can see this another model here and then go to background so these are colors gradient and images we can change the background with the color single color i mean or gradient like i will choose this one and now i will show you how to upload image here go back to canva and then add a uh, create new design i will choose just an instagram post portrait so i will make a pattern here go to element and i will tap case on the graphic in case you're not background okay and then i will place it here i will duplicate place it here i will select them both and then duplicate and place it here duplicate and place it there now i'll select them all and increase the size and then click share and download as png download now back to backdora and then click the image and then click replace and choose the file that we just download okay and this is some surface from backdora and now go to video there are some video here you can click the preview to see our choose this one click download icon and then click the ratio i will change it to three to four and then these are two option of video file i will choose mp4 and then click export okay so it is looks so professional and you can use my code to get the 20 percent off okay so just sign up to Factora, use my link and get the discount. See you next video and have fun.